215 Cotton Valley. If you're looking for a super private, tucked away villa, this is it. It even has a high speed electric car charger. Check that out. So if you have a, an EV you wanna park here, charge it right on site, you're all set. Nice entry gate. Before we head in, let me show you the, uh, this is where you would have your, you know, you could store your trash. You got your propane tanks, nicely tucked away with the lattice so you don't really see it. And then you enter through in this beautiful pool courtyard. Perfect shower, outdoor shower to rinse off your snorkel gear, hang it on the hook, let it dry, get it ready for tomorrow. Check out this chill zone here. Fridge, grill, stereo, wet bar. Beautifully covered with a solidly built, as you can see the steel brackets, how this is tied in, they ain't going nowhere. Got a little steel pulse, steel pulse pouncing on the reggae music system. Out of night. Music reeling, buttons reeling, a lot of breathing, bruised feelings. Hey, check it out. I mean, it really is a beautiful setup. Perfect pool, nice aluminum railing, and then views galore. Obviously, we're looking out over uh, the reef condos, Villa Madeline, and all of Teague Bay, including the Yacht Club. Respect, Virgin Islands. But what a setup, I mean, you're looking for a tropical paradise, you just found it right here. We'll come back down here, but this is a, another sitting area uh, here, a little lounge. Great place to take in the view. Let's take a seat here and see how it is. Oh yeah. Honey, can I get a Crucian Golden Coke with lime please? <sighs> Never works. And then the owner enclosed this lower area for awesome storage. Check this out. Tons of room, double doors on each side. And I'll come back to this. This is the separate um, sitting area and dining deck for the um, one bedroom apartment. So you've got a two bedroom main house with two baths. And then you've got a one bedroom guest apartment. Makes for a perfect VRBO, Airbnb. Or if you got, you know, in-laws, guests, that sort of thing. It's down on the lower level here. Take a peek in here real quick. And here we are. This is a bed that can be pulled out as a queen. It can also separate into two singles. It's a really nice, flexible setup for VRBO. In fact, some people coming in next week have a couple little kids and they're gonna utilize it as two, two, two twins. And then you get a nice little mechanical room. You got your cistern pump, water filters, water heater, all tucked away there. But a nice, comfortable living room down here in the apartment. Then you've got your indoor dining. As I mentioned before, there's the outdoor dining, which we'll get to in a second. Full kitchen, super clean, stainless appliances, granite counters, pass-through window, Got its own laundry down here, which is really nice for rentals and guests. Keep them out of your hair. Do their own darn laundry. And then in here is the bath. Nice shower. Cute little tiles. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Beautiful vanity. Like I said, everything in here is new and nice and fresh and clean. Uh, nothing to be done here other than enjoy it. And then a good sized bedroom. Queen bed, got your AC up there, got a little office nook over in the corner, closet, and then out the back door here is a nice private, check out the, the rock work here, this, this natural rock, beautiful. And then you step up to a private dining deck. You 
even got a look of Buck Island there. See that? That's Buck Island snorkeling trail right there. But check out the view from this place. I mean, it's spectacular. I guess this is the only word I can think of. And so that's the whole lower level. That's the storage area that we just came up. So actually, let's go back this way again. And then we'll go up to the main house. Okay, here we are entering the main house. Upper level. Voila. Beautiful tongue and groove ceilings. Kitchen to the left, living to the center, and dining to the right. Guest bedroom and bath on that side. And let's go check out the view. Check this out. I mean, the king of your own world up here. Up here, you get a little more buck, about half a buck. And the same awesome 180 degree view. And look at the length of this deck. All newly done. All of these deck boards were recently replaced. And as you can see, the owner was very smart and used stainless steel fasteners. So there's no rusting to worry about. He's also added additional rafter brackets just for extra strength. Arguably not necessary, but never hurts. And this deck wraps around and underneath this concrete patio is the generator room. And here we are looking down onto the pool patio where we entered from. So lots of different living areas in this house. You could have a bunch of guests here and you wouldn't be on top of each other at all. And here's a nice look at the great room. Brutal wind chills dipping below zero, it says. What is a wind chill? Whoa, sorry about that. Time to come, time to come down to St. Croix, people. Beautiful mahogany bar. And a gorgeous kitchen with granite countertops. And again, like downstairs, stainless steel appliances. This house also has solar net metering. And in here we have a Tesla power wall. Um, which is in the on position, as you can see. Your generator transfer switch. And I'll tell you a little more about the solar here in a minute, but basically you have a grandfathered net metering permit, a one-to-one -one permit with a Tesla battery wall backup, AC in the living room. In addition to the Tesla wall, you have a 20 kW diesel generator, which we'll show in just a bit. But here we are in the Main bedroom, got a nice TV, AC, same awesome view. This is a king size bed here. And there's your view looking out, amazing. Got a little kitty cat, hey kitty cat. Seems like he's really excited about this video. How about you, are you excited about it? Yeah, you excited about it? Yeah, they're taking their afternoon naps, which I wish I was doing. Storage up above. His and hers closets left and right as you're coming through the hall into the main bathroom, which is just beautifully done. All custom mahogany cabinetry, beautiful Corian countertops, glass block shower with some nice mahogany trim on top. Very well appointed, very well set up, and very spacious. So nobody's bumping elbows. And that is the upper level main house. We'll go down, take a quick look at the generator, and then we'll call it a day. Let's head back down to the pool. Okay, we're back at the pool level. There's the chill cabana. There's the door to the apartment. And here we are going into the generator room. This is a concrete bunker generator room. The walls, the floor, 
even the ceiling is solid poured concrete. So it's really a bunker. And here you've got this beautiful diesel generator that will power the whole house, including uh, air conditioning, lights, water pumps, pool pump, and everything. That size generator will easily power this house. So this, this house really, you know, we have the saying in real estate, you know, it checks the boxes though. It checks the boxes. Well, it doesn't check that box. This checks every box, 100%. It's got everything you need. Room for guests, solar, pool, lots of beautiful living space, and it's in meticulous condition. So if you're looking for a turnkey house here on St. Croix, this is probably the one you're gonna wanna see. So if you wanna check it out, give us a call. In the meantime, have an awesome day. Thanks for watching.